Hi everyone, this is Irina. I'm the Chief Commercial Officer at Blink OT. And today with me, I have an Andres from Plantiform, and we will be talking about Plantiform experience of building an IoT product with uh, Blink. Hello, Andres. Uh, can you introduce yourself, your company, and what you guys have built? Yes, thank you, Irina. So my name is Andres. I'm the CTO here at Plantiform. At Plantiform, we have developed the first smart indoor garden which uses fog in order to create a nutrient-rich water to nutrient-rich fog, which the plants uh, use in order to grow very healthy and quickly. This allows our device to consume a lot less water than other not uh, normal means. And we have used plant, uh, Blink in order to, to control our device. So we control things such, such as lighting, uh, water levels, plant progress, the cleaning procedure, and the plant care instructions are all also on the application. They're all controlled and monitored on the Blink app. Awesome. And you guys use uh, the technology that was first developed by NASA, from what I remember. Yeah, that's right. Uh, NASA developed the, the technology in order to grow plants in space, and we we're kind of bringing it into the residential space. So exciting. Awesome. So let's talk about the IoT development part, the part that we care most about. So you started out building an IoT product and you had the choices of connectivity, of um, hardware. How did you go about making the choice? Uh, what did you end up choosing? Um, and then we'll talk about the IoT component. Of it. Yes, definitely. So we started developing um, our device using a Raspberry Pi. Most people just use uh, a Raspberry Pi for, for hobby. Uh, purposes, but then we noticed that we needed something that was a lot more custom, and a Raspberry Pi is not 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 very cost effective, right? So we started using the ESP uh, module, um, the uh, to be more specific, the ES ESP thirty two room thirty two E. Um, we we really like this module because uh, Blink offers a lot of uh, a lot of information on this uh, on this module. And we also develop a custom PCB with it that controls all the peripherals of our device. And this module also has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, which really opened up uh, all the connectivity that we needed. Got it. Makes sense. Popular choice um, among Blink customer. And then you started uh, choosing an IoT platform. Why Blink? Uh, why not build in-house? Can you talk to us a little bit about that decision making? Yes, that's right. So as a startup, uh, we have very limited resources. One of the main things was that we only had electrical engineers in our in our company. Uh, so we had embedded experience, but not very much software experience. So Blink offers um, a solution that that requires very little or almost no code um, in order to be able to to develop an application. So this application that we were using at first with Blink was going to be used with an R&D our R&D team. Mm -hmm. And uh, it really allowed us to very quickly develop something with, uh, with, with the experience and the tools that we had in-house without having to hire uh, an external software engineer. You got it. And did you consider other platforms kind of what were the biggest considerations in terms of features or Mm. Yes, definitely. So, so we looked to to doing the application ourselves first, and we also looked at at different platforms. But uh, a lot of the platforms that we saw did not were, were not as were 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 not as complete and mm -hmm. did not offer all the services for an IoT product like we were looking. So, for example, the the EC uh, embedded uh, side that Blink offers. It is something that we really like because it was very, very simple to implement in our in our hardware. And they also offered the, the front end, which allowed for a lot of customization. Mm -hmm. uh, and going the custom route, uh, that would require us to, to hire multiple software engineers uh, with a lot of different uh, disciplines in, in back end, front end, uh, cloud. So that would add up really quickly. So Blink was in terms of cost was our best solution. 
Understood. Got it. And can you talk to us a little bit about your experience or actually your journey from the very first prototype and you a little bit touched on that a little bit with your Raspberry Pi experience to production? Um, how did you go about that? Was it a more of a self-serve experience and how much time did that take? I, I'm sure that will be interesting for fellow entrepreneurs who are maybe listening. Definitely. So we started using Blink Legacy at first. Uh, like I like like I said, we were using it first just for R&D purposes. Uh, it really helped getting information from our sensors and being able to control different things like the pumps and the fans and the atomizers. So that, that was what we were using just for R&D first. And as we started moving forward, we started developing a more, a more and more complex solution with Blink. Uh, the only thing that we were seeing that we were missing was the was the the final user experience that that we didn't have with Blink Legacy. Uh, but that's when we found uh, Blink IoT, uh, and Blink IoT really changed things for us because we were actually able to move to Blink IoT, move our R and D efforts to Blink IoT, and we were able to actually start developing the front end as we wanted our users to see it. So that was very important for us. It took about a month for us to, to transfer from Blink uh, Legacy to Blink IoT. Mm -hmm. But once we were transferred, um, we, we saw all the different features. We were actually able to make the, the application very customized and be able to change a lot of the images. And <laughs> it took us about, I would say, about three months in, in order for us to, to really customize it how we wanted it to. Mm -hmm. um, and then after that, we went to the to the Blink business because we did want it to release it uh, to the public and for them to be able to download our application on both Android and Apple Store as well. So it took us overall, it, it took us, I would say about a year uh, mm -hmm. of, of development, but that was with us just taking a very long time working with the R&D and, and changing their application to whatever they needed. Um, but we were we're super happy with the application that we have right now. It's it's very customizable. Uh, we have a lot of different things that Blink helped us with. So uh, like the GIFs, that that was very important for us in order to have some move, moving pictures in our application, uh, which was which was something that we asked Blink for, and they were able to to develop that for us. Amazing. And by the way, we did shoot a demo video of the Plantaform application or Plantaform did it for us uh, kindly. We have it on our YouTube channel. I will um, link it in the comments. So if someone wants to check out what the end, the end result looked like, um, you can definitely do that. Um, cool. That makes sense. And what would you say was the most challenging part of building an IoT product? And I'm not just talking about the app, the hardware, the software, everything. Uh, there were there were a couple of different things that 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 we found. Uh, mostly when we were looking for the the custom solution. So when we we're looking for a custom solution, we had to look at at cloud services, databases, which these are things that are all included in Blink. Um, so, but I, I would say the hardest part for uh, developing it's really it's really the time. I, I would say like. Uh, you underestimate how much time that you might need in order to develop uh, an application. There, there's everything from graphic design to front end and back end. And we were able to cut out a, a lot of steps because Blink would offer a solution for a lot of those things. So we we were able to to fast forward a lot of the uh, a lot of the development thanks to to Blink. Got it. And as an entrepreneur, looking back, if you could redo something and do something completely differently, let's forward, let's um, go back like a year or two. What would you have changed in your approach to building a product? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So there's a couple of things. One of the first things would be to to start the the graphic design a lot earlier. Uh, it was something that we kind of left towards the end. And when we noticed that we needed to to be able to add some images and and some more customized uh, things to uh, to the application, we we noticed that we were already too far far ahead, and we had to kind of start doing it towards the end. And, and the other thing was move to Blink IoT sooner. Uh, I think we took forever. We we only saw it as an R and D solution first, and we would have moved to to Blink IoT sooner we would have been uh, a lot further. 
Gotcha. And what would you say, there are so many things, obviously, our platform offers and covers for um, entrepreneurs like you guys, but what would you say are the top three features are things are that we are providing that are most valuable to your business? Yes. So the first one would be the device commissioning. Uh, this was something that was extremely helpful and, and allowing us to add multiple devices to the application and also having like the multi-tenancy as well. So being able to also go into, into the desktop as an admin user and being able to see all the, the, all the devices that you have connected and being able to assign them to, to different people, that, that really helped. That, that was something that, that, we really, uh, that we really liked about Blink. Uh, also the firmware API that Blink offers. So we were able to develop quite quickly because the API is, is solid. So we were able to, to add uh, the, the firmware and just worry about the, the, the back end of things and not have to worry about the, the front end. Um, and, and the firmware was, was really easy to use. Uh, and lastly would be to, well, I guess I mixed it with the first one, but being able to add multiple devices mm -hmm. and, and be able to, to make changes to the templates and having those uh, those changes go to all of the all of the different applications or all of the people that are using the the same template, all of those changes to to happen right away. Got it. Love this feedback. Awesome. And um, what's next for Plantiform? Are you guys building more products? Are you just focusing on this one? What to expect? Yeah. So first, we're we're finishing um, the the assembly process right now for for pre-sold products. So we're going to be delivering those devices. That's the first thing that we're doing. We're also creating new pod packs. So this includes a super food salad mix as well as a cocktail mix and a tomato pack. So these are uh, different seeds that people can can put in the device and and grow them. Right now we have three uh, <laughs> three packs but we're going to be uh, releasing these three very soon. And we're also expanding to the industrial and commercial space. So we're going to be implementing this technology in, in, in big farms in order to be able to feed a lot more people and really contribute to a more sustainable future and really pushing the agri-tech industry. Very exciting. Um, awesome. And I would like to always like to close out entrepreneur to entrepreneur. What would you recommend to similar tech guys who are trying to build a great product? What, what would be your top advice for them as someone who's actually successfully launched a product already? Yes. Yeah, so the, the main thing that, uh, that I just thought about is to focus on your team strengths and find a solution that fits it. Uh, in our case, we... We needed a tool that required very little uh, software input because we were all electrical engineers and and a solution like Blink really helped us. But I, I would say just focus on, on who you have on your team and, and focus on their strengths. And, and based on that, you can, you, you can really develop something good. Amazing. Awesome, Andres. Thank you so much for sharing all of your thoughts and feedbacks and challenges. We are excited to see your product out there. We'll be following your success and hopefully we'll do another conversation soon just to hear how it's all going in market and, you know, other amazing things that you're planning to build. Um, thank you. Thank you very much, Irina. Thank you, Andres. Have a great day. You too.